Hello, everyone. This is our clinic. Funny, right? Not what you'd expect from medical professionals. Would you ever consider coming here? A greeting from Bell? A consultation from the Beast? Well, these are our Daikando family members. At the clinic, we do things differently than most. Let me explain. My name is Masahiro Okochi. I'm the director and doctor of Okochi Internal Medicine Clinic. This is our office manager, Kaori Okochi. Hello, everyone. If you like, please visit our clinic. Thank you very much. We both practice Daikando medical care. What is Daikando? In my clinic, a special thing happens every day. You might wonder what that is. It's Daikando. Daikando is a Japanese word that means great impression. This word signifies unforgettable feeling that shakes you to the core. In other words, it's sensation that touches your heart. This sensation could come from earth, like a scene in a movie, words from a book or a piece of music. More simply, this feeling could come from our daily lives, like a speech at a wedding, a thoughtful present, or seeing a toddler take their first steps. So, why am I talking about Daikando? Well, I'm a doctor, and I practice Daikando medical care with my staff members. Our mission is to spread Daikando medical care all over the world. For me, Daikando medical care means never giving up on any person in the world, no matter the circumstances. This means that I treat my patients as if they are members of my own family. We aim to feel people's hearts and their inner worms. Through Daikando medical care, we are able to provide treatment, not only to remove the symptom of illness, but also to support worry filled hurts. 29 out of 100,000 people. Do you know what this number shows? It shows the number of patients who are diagnosed with cancer that committed suicide. Regrettably, there are lots of cancer patients who commit suicide. In particular, the majority of those who commit suicide are middle-aged, 50 to 70 years old men who end up taking their lives only a few months after their diagnosis. Their mental health suffered considerably after they received the unfortunate news. About five years ago, a dear relative of mine developed cancer. She was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer while she was at the age of 48. She had not been feeling very well and went to get what she thought would be a regular checkup. But instead, she was given the devastating news that she only had three months left to live. Her own child was only 18 years old. She learned of this tragedy approach end of her life before her child had even reached full adulthood. After learning of this prognosis, she not only suffered from the physical pain of the disease, but she suffered immense emotional stress and cried daily. I assured her that I would assist and comfort as much as I could, along with administrating immunotherapy and gene therapy at the clinic. I kept encouraging her daily via email with strong, sincere messages like, "I won't let you die. I'm finding new treatments, and please don't give up." As a doctor and a human being, I devoted myself to her treatment with with determination and kindness. This attitude of mine 
must have affected her somehow. She gained the hope and courage to believe that a miracle might happen. It touched her heart, and she was greatly moved, the candle. And although it has been predicted initially that she would live only three months, she was able to live three and a half years longer. It was a miracle, not only that, she was able to spend that time at home with her loved ones. It hit me. The universe had an obvious answer that I have been underestimating, being too busy with work or with whatever to notice. The success of her being able to live longer, happier, and at home with her loved ones hit me to my core, resonating from my heart and changing the way I do all things. By supporting a patient's mental and emotional condition, it's possible to extend their life. I believe in Daikando Medical Care. Of course, cancer is not the only thing that weakens people's spirit. Actually, as a doctor, I specialize in the treatment of diabetes. When people become diabetic, they not only suffer from the effect of the disease, they have to live with the worry of possibly developing other complications, such as losing sight, having a stroke, or having to undergo direct treatment. Consequently, they end up enduring overwhelming anxiety of whether or not they can support their family in the future. I believe that if Daikando Medical OK is practiced around the world, countless of numbers of people will surely have their lives enriched as their hearts are touched. The clinic I ran is not straight in the most ideal location, but every year some 50,000 patients visit our clinic. Over the past 10 years, 500,000 patients visit our clinic. Actually, some people just come to visit us even though they are not sick, because we are providing them with a sense of community, care, compassion, love, acceptance, and daikando. Our clinic recently had our 10th anniversary. Members from all over the community came to celebrate. Here are some submissions our Daikando community for our art contest. So, how should we spread Daikando? I strongly believe that you have to start with those who are closest to you. What I mean is, you have to start by making your staff happy. We doctors cannot provide such daikando medical care alone. We need staff members with us to support patients with all their hearts. Why? Because a troubled heart cannot feel another person's troubled heart. The staff are worried about their own troubles, their doubts are creeping and they lose the moment to generate the candle. So, our staff cannot truly support patients unless they are fulfilled. That's why it's crucial to make our staff happy and satisfied. This opens their heart to others, guaranteeing excellent medical care for our patient. A number of healthcare professionals are mistaking the order of their priorities. Doctors are not communicating with enough appreciation to the staff because they take them for granted. Medical care is not as effective as it could be. So, the first step in Daikando medical care is to show as much appreciation as possible on a daily basis to the staff. As an example, we do the following seven things in my clinic. Praise each other's strengths, thank you card exchange, and your word for the staff. Surprise party with letters from parents. Barbecues and year-end parties for the staff. Seminars and career development opportunities. Presentation, publishing, and team opportunities. These simple steps help the staff feel appreciated, have opportunity to succeed, and find fulfillment in their work. Patients can feel the warmth from them and know they are in good hands. They candle. In our seven years implementing measures like this, we have developed a dependable staff. For example, let me tell you a little about our office manager. 
even when it rains or snows. She stands outside the hospital entrance to greet patients who come to our clinic. She tries her best to remember the name of our patient and any changes in their living situation. She greets patients by name and speaks to them warmly and kindly, with joy and concern, as if they are members of her own family. So, now, there are many patients who want to come to our clinic, even when they don't have a scheduled appointment. They come to see our office manager. There are a line of people outside the front door waiting to talk to her. How many hospitals can you think of that have people wanting to come, not just for treatment, but to come see the office manager? A strange hospital like this one can exist by applying Dicando medical care. Now that we have the colleague and staff who can provide Dicando medical care, who should we provide it to? I ask this because actually we are working on elimination of disparities in medical care quality. Specifically, we are addressing the medical discrimination against foreigners, which have become more pronounced in the aftermath of the coronavirus pandemic. Right now, people are struggling all over the world due to COVID-19. In fact, many people of different ethnicities cannot receive adequate medical treatment for COVID-19. Let me explain. According to the African-American Research Collaborative, many foreigners have a feeling of not being offered the best available treatment, not being referred to the specialist. Feel denied the opportunity to speak with a physician. Feel they have been delayed access to healthcare services. All the while, not being able to speak in their preferred language. After becoming a doctor, I traveled to study at an overseas institution. During that time, I was confronted with the reality that people from other countries are not able to receive adequate and fair treatment, and that such medical discrimination occurs in every country in the world, including my home country of Japan. This experience has partly inspired me to create my own clinic and carry out the mission of practicing compassionate medical care which fills people's hearts and their, their inner worms. Not just here in Japan, but all over the world. Daikando, a chain reaction of the worms and positive energy. That is our vision. And in the end, create a world in which all people will be touched by profound heartfelt impression of kindness. Daikando. The idea of Daikando is not limited to the medical community. The same idea can be applied to building good relationships in business world, in school, and at home. We practice Daikando medical care, which is a heartwarming way of interacting with our patient. And with Daikando education, heartwarming relationships are cultivated between teachers and students that encourages motivation, respect, and desire to be good for others. In the same way, with Daikando, we can create a Daikando family, a dinner table full of laughter, happy stories, of family members who inspire each other. With Daikando, we can create a community which gives a heartwarming help to each other. You can make a difference in the world around you. Who are you nearby? Daikando is. Everyone, from your professors or teachers, bus or taxi drivers, software engineers, track flags, librarians, you name them, they are your Daikando is. Treat those around you with human love, whether it's your family, school, or community, and you make not only yourself, but everyone around you happier. And I believe that the world can surely become a place filled with kind, heartfelt impression. Here are some words from patient Daikando Is. Ah, it's not
れてありがとうねって言ってくれるところスタッフの人がバーッと飛んできてギュッて抱きしめてくれるんですよね病気を治しに来るんですけどその人に会いに来るっていうような感覚不可能なことを可能にして全ての患者さんを幸せにしてあげたいっていう気持ちがあるのかなっていうふうには思っておりまして「How to start d i c a n d o f i r s t be a source of appreciation and joy」Every day, show and express your gratitude to the people around you, to those whom you might take for granted, and interact with them on an emotional level. When the people around you become happy by being shown gratitude, then the person can connect with other people in trouble on an emotional level and make them happier too. Daikando can cause a chain reaction of positivity. We can create a world without discrimination and prejudice. People of the, of the world can care about the people around them. With Daikando Medical Care, we'd like to create such a world. In what part of the world would you like to promote Daikando? Let's start a chain reaction of Daikando around the world together. Thank you very much. <laughs>